What's up guys, Graylin Stewart here. This is my work Wednesday vlog day. So as you can see, I'm on my back patio. Um, it's a beautiful day here in Colorado. Thanks for joining me. Uh, like I said, my name is Graylin Stewart. I am a virtual wholesaler and entrepreneur. Um, I'm just a real estate investor. We do a little bit of everything. We obviously buy and hold, cash flow is king. We do fix and flips for the big paydays, but wholesaling is our number one strategy. So if you're new to my channel, thanks for joining. But if you're not, thanks for watching my vlog. It might be a little bit loud out here. There's like construction going on over there. This is a brand new neighborhood. So the neighborhood behind me is older, but we've got this kind of a open garden space, whatever they call that, between the two neighborhoods. So that's what you see in the background is, is the older neighborhood, but this neighborhood specifically is brand new. So there's always construction going on. But it's hard to see too with the glare but out there you can see the rockies the rocky mountains are right out there but uh i guess just the time of the day it, it's super early 8 a.m on wednesday morning so yeah pretty out here though it's definitely beautiful if you could see what i could see but nevertheless just getting my day going um i know this vlog is a little different than normal since i'm on my back porch but I figured I'd just change up the scenery a little bit and it's so nice out here. So anyways, I just got back from Dominican Republic last week. That was an amazing trip. You know, it's, it's always nice to go network and hang out with high level people. You know what I mean? So it was a mastermind trip, part of the investor lift cartel bosses, which is, you know, all the biggest wholesalers in the country, the 50 biggest are in that group. Not all of them, but 50 of the biggest for sure. Um, people are doing from 250,000 a month on the low end up to over a million dollars a month uh, on the high end. But most everybody's in the you know $500,000 range in that ballpark. So it's pretty crazy per month I'm talking about. I even met a, I think I mentioned this in a video recently, but I, I, met, I met a guy, he's 19 years old and he's already doing 500,000 a month. He's like a genius though, you know, like literal uh, super smart kid, obviously. But, but you would think he's 30 when you look at him and talk to him just because he looks way older and he talks way older. So you can see why he's successful, but they've got a big massive team, I guess, of 30 people or so, plus a bunch of VAs and things like that. But, but yeah, you know, I always take away good things from those, from those events and those masterminds. Uh, it was a good time, you know, we, we rented three yachts, so we got to jump off of, uh, the tallest one was like 40 feet high. So obviously, I have a background in tumbling and trampoline, so I always do flips off of, uh, off of those big boats like that, which was really fun. So I got to do all kinds of flips off of the 40 foot yacht, which was amazing. Um, beautiful water, it's the prettiest water I've ever seen, the particular spot that we went to in Punta Cana. I've been to Hawaii multiple times. I've been to many tropical places all over the place. And by far, that's the prettiest water I've ever seen. I didn't even realize water could look like that. It, it was almost like somebody put food coloring in there, you know? So it was amazing, for real. But yeah, I always take away things from those events. You know, you get little chunks and pieces from everybody, you know, a lot of times, especially if you're open-minded and you're willing to learn. You can't always think that you know everything. You know, I definitely have a long way to go from where I want to be, you know, and that's the thing too. You can't ever really compare yourselves to other people. You know, you know, people that watch my channel, you probably think that I'm doing big numbers, which we're doing okay, you know. We do 100,000 plus per month for sure. And we've had up, you know, upwards of $300,000 in a month. But at the same time, there's always people bigger and doing better things. So I'm always trying to learn, you know, cause my ultimate goal, you know, in everything that I do in life, I've always tried to be the best. Uh, so I always strive for that, no matter what. When I know there's people out there doing a million dollars a month, I wanna do a million dollars a month. Just because that's my competitive nature. You know, I was on the USA tumbling team for eight years. I won national 16 times. That wasn't by accident. Obviously God gave me the talent but I put his talent to use, you know, and I strive to be the best. And I, and I was one of the best in the world at one time. 
and that's that's my goal for wholesaling you know it's not about the money because that doesn't really matter got plenty of money to do with whatever we want to do but it's just about striving for something bigger bigger than me uh, obviously I can't do it on my own I have to build a team around me but I just want to be one of the best if not the best you know and that's just my mentality and that's my goal so I don't I don't compare myself to others because there's tons of people out there doing way bigger and better things than me but that just makes me know that it's possible and um, but not only that, most of those companies have offices with tons of people. I want to do it completely virtual because we don't have an office. And I want to do it with, you know, 10 or 12 people. I think I can do it with 10 or less, to be honest. Uh, there is a good friend of mine, though, out of Washington. He's completely virtual like I am. So we definitely bounce a lot of things off of each other because we're truly a virtual company. We don't just buy virtually but our, our company is virtual as well. So we've come to know him pretty well. He was at this cartel boss trip last year as well. So um, it was good to reunite with him, but he's virtual as well. And he did $800,000 this last month, completely virtual. Of course he has a bigger team too, it's a big virtual team. He probably has 30 people or so as well. But um, you know, I do know of another guy uh, it's a friend of mine as well. We're not as close, but he's completely virtual and they definitely knocked down some gigantic months as well. So I'm always learning from these people is, is, is the point, I guess, because we can always learn from each other. You know, I even learn, uh, you know, some things here and there from, from you guys, you know, because I've done multiple one-on-one -on -one calls with people. Um, or in and tons of comments back and forth on different social media platforms and um, you know I, I always learn from you as well so I think it's important that we can always learn together and grow together but that's where I'm at now I, I know that I fully have my systems and processes in place I definitely have you know all that nailed down I'm definitely spending a ton of money in marketing I could definitely spend more but uh, now it's just the point that we need more people. You know, that's it. You know, people is the hardest part of any business, in my opinion, because it's hard to get the right people, but not only get the right people, but put them in the right positions uh, for them to succeed. But, um, but I need multiple. I probably need at least like a minimum of two more acquisitions, maybe three, and probably one more dispo and potentially one more transaction coordinator you know because when you have a multiple multiple things in escrow deals in escrow you know it becomes more difficult for dispo and transactions to do their job to the fullest capacity you know when you have that many deals i think we have 23 in escrow as of this morning you know that's not a ton my goal is to be is to have 100 deals in escrow at all times because just because you have something in escrow doesn't mean you're closing that many in a month because things take time, right? Some of those deals might be going through probate. Some of them may not ever close at all because of title issues. Some of them might be you know, a month or two out because that's what the seller needed or wanted. Some you might still be marketing, trying to find buyers. Some of them are brand new that just came into your system the next in the last day or so. So that's the point, you know, there's, just because there's 23 in escrow, you know, even if we can just close half of those, you know, that's good. It's a good month. So that's why I say if I could have a hundred, you know, that's the thing too. If I want to be at a million a month, you can just kind of reverse engineer that. What does it take to get to that? So that's why I know if I have a hundred in escrow at all times, we could probably close on half of those every month. So if we're closing 50 deals a month, we're going to be over a million dollars a month for sure. So that's kind of where we're at. You know, you already know that every 15 leads that come into my system is a deal so you can kind of figure the numbers out how many leads does it take to get a deal it's 15 for us then how many deals do you have to have to actually get to the closing table ours is like 75 percent will actually close because you've got that 25 percent fall off uh, when we were doing full scale national it was a lot less it was more like 50 percent but now that we're focused more in one area, we still do national, but most of our dollars are in one area, uh, trying to go deeper and wider, you know, in that one area. 
you know, it's we have a better percentage of you know of deals sticking, uh, just because not only do we know the area better, so we're buying it right, but also uh, we know how to get around some of the title issues better because it's different in every state, right? But also we have better buyers in that area. You know, there's multiple reasons why your fallout's not so not so bad when you when you focus on a certain area of course like i said we are still national we're still getting leads all over the place and and those leads are typically more like a 50 50 you know when you get those deals but when we get them in like oklahoma we know that area real well so it's usually 75 to 80 percent chance that we'll close on those so anyways so yes if we have 100 deals in escrow at all times i believe that we were able to close 40 to 50 of those every month, which means we'll be doing million dollar months. So all we're willing to do, do is get the right people, more of them, and then I can ramp up advertising, obviously. I'm already spending a lot, but I'll still have to spend a lot more because I'll probably have to be closer to the $150,000 a month range in ad spend. Somewhere in that ballpark is what I'm guessing maybe up to 200,000 a month. If we're spending that kind of money, I definitely want people to be able to take those leads and to execute those. So that's where I'm at now. I'm, I'm in my growth phase, which I've been all along, obviously, but we're really focusing on it. My operations manager and I are really brainstorming and just talking about all the different things that I've learned through the different masterminds and we're starting to implement and really it's it just comes down to people so we're actively pursuing and i'm actually even contemplating on training up vas to do some of these positions i definitely still want u.s based people from my main people in the core positions you know acquisitions dispositions transactions but at the same time i think that vas can also assist in those positions and potentially even have a full-time role in those positions because I didn't know people that's doing that as well you just have to train them more because a lot of times these VAs you know uh, people in the US oftentimes treat them like like they're nothing like you know they're not important and that's def definitely not true they are people just like we are they are as talented as we are a lot of them have bachelor's degrees even master's degrees so they definitely have the drive that it takes they uh, a lot of them are just super smart and and they're willing to work that's the biggest difference they're willing to work and they take direction easier and are willing to execute on what you tell them to do so that's why i really love VAs, and, and i believe that could be a key a more key of a of a position as opposed to just cold callers or follow-up or you know things like that i think they can hold those those key roles if you're willing to train them correctly because they don't, they don't read your minds, right? They don't, they don't learn on their own. You know, you have to actively train them just like you do your normal people. So uh, we're definitely gonna test that out as well. Potentially um, hire a couple of more US-based, you know, people for these positions, but also maybe bring a VA or two on for these key roles as well, just to see how that goes, you know? They're definitely um, more affordable because their cost of living in those areas are much, much less that's why they can work for way less just because they work for less doesn't mean that they're worth less their cost of living is just less so anyway i actually met a va uh, while i was in uh, dominican one of the guys there brought her along for whatever reason i'm not sure it's usually just the ceos and maybe sometimes they bring their coos with them but he actually brought her and, and it was his disposition manager and she was from mexico so obviously she was a lot more affordable than a U.S. based, and she spoke perfect English. I didn't, I had no clue she was even from Mexico. I just I was his disposition manager until my wife told me later because she hung out with all the ladies. But um, yeah, it was really interesting, you know, because she was really well spoken, smart, and obviously was good at her job. You know, if you brought her along there. So, anyways, that's where I'm at now. We're trying to grow, trying to uh, grow our team, especially because. Once we have a really, really good team, more of them in place, we can definitely do bigger numbers. Cause we definitely, you know, my goal is for this year, you know, we're already into May, halfway through May. 
you know, by July, August, September, you know, I want to start doing like $300,000 a month consistently. That's what I want because I've done a couple of those, but I've never done those consistently. And then we can just grow into that million a month because that's the thing too. I don't want a million a month one time. I want it consistently every month. So, so that's kind of my, my short term goal. You got to have smaller goals to get to those bigger goals, I think. But I definitely think if we get the right people in place, we, we're already spending enough to do consistent $300,000 a month. We just need people to execute on the leads that we have. So anyways, hopefully you got some benefit out of this, guys. Uh, it's just a vlog, like I said. But um, oftentimes you can learn from these things too. I used to watch them as well from, you know, from high level people. So hopefully you gain some knowledge from that or some insight at least or a nugget or two. But anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Please like, please subscribe if you haven't already and share this content. Maybe, uh, you know, cause I'm always sharing. I'm hoping people um, can change their lives through wholesaling because it changed mine. So that's my ultimate goal. Cause people ask me often, you know, why do you even, you know, give all this knowledge away for free? It's because I want to give back. You know, this is how I learned. So different people resonate with different people. So uh, hopefully you resonate with me. That's why you're watching. So hopefully you're learning from it. So anyways, Enough rambling on. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.